All music in this video is royalty free and collected from the freemusicarchives.org. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Alfred here from TGN bringing you another StarCraft 2 map review. Today we're gonna give it a little bit of a different touch, making it a little bit more professional, and we're gonna cut this thing into different pieces. Uh, I would ask you to enjoy this, and yeah, let's start it off. As you can see, this map is built pretty much like every terror defense game you've ever seen in your life. You have the start area where the mobs start running from, and then you they just follow this path uh, around, and you have to place your buildings and your towers in the correct position to shoot them down. As you can see right here, the um, tower defense game is like every tower defense game. Otherwise, you build your cannons on this hillside here. I'm going to speed up the footage so you'll see a little bit what it's all about. While this is playing, I would like to talk a little bit about the different mechanics that this game has, or this map has. Um, first of all, you have this inventory piece here, uh, where you can gather up different items and get different abilities. Um, you also have the high scores menu right there on the right hand side. Uh, you have the uh, next wave thing right there uh, over the inventory one and um, Yeah, that's pretty much it. You have some other small neat mechanics as well But the big things would be the inventory and the high scores list. The high scores list is it's not very um, It's not very like rare because almost every tower defense game has a high score list so that you can know which player has the most kills or minion kills or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Out of that, I lost my ability to talk. But the important thing and the cool thing with just this map is the inventory, uh, which in in which you can gather different spells and use them upon your enemies. That brings us on to our next um, little part of this video, which is pros and cons. Now, pros. Uh, obviously, this is a very interesting t tower defense game because of the, the the different mechanics, basically. And with that, I mean the inventory thing, uh, which is I, I feel a real good thing uh, for the map. I think it makes it takes it onto another level um, of tower defense when when you can use your builder to to have different spells. I think that's a very good mechanic to have in your tower defense game. So that's definitely a pro. Um, but otherwise, it's it's pretty much like a a, a run-of-the-mill tower defense game. Now cons, um, I find that the um, the game or the map is is too hard. Even though you you choose easy, as we did on this playthrough, you see right here, um, we we l lost like not many minutes into the game. Um, and that's not only me being bad at the game, it's, it's, it was too hard. Uh, I, I think that if you select the EC um, mode in a game, the game should be... <coughs> sorry, the game should be easy enough for you to beat it. And in, if not beating it, you should be able to stay alive more than like three minutes. As you can see, we my, my whole team gets absolutely pounded. But my conclusion is that this is a good tower defense map. Uh, I think you should try it out. It's I, I find it very very hard, even though I choose easy as I just said. But it's it's a fun and enjoyable map. You should try this out. And um, tell me in the comments what you like. If you think this is an improvement, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path for YouTubers. To learn more, visit tgn.tv. Thank you.